What's up, YouTubies? YouTube bites? Anyway, I just have a quick tip today, hopefully a good tip. Uh, it's fall for me right now, and which is a good time to do fall fertilization, or whatever plants you may have that you want to fertilize. If you look here, I have several small trees that I would eventually like to be big trees, so I'm gonna try and help them along here. You may be familiar with fertilizer tree spikes that come in boxes just like this and look just like this. I like to use these with trees because one, it saves me money. It just ends up being a lot cheaper than when if you were to get bagged fertilizer, bagged granular fertilizer, because it seems like even for small trees, it requires a decent amount of that fertilizer. And this box cost me about eight bucks and I get 15 spikes in here. And each one of these trees, according to the back of my box here, one to two inch diameter trunk should get two spikes. So every one of these only needs two spikes and I got 15 per box. It's just so much more economically feasible than going with the bagged fertilizer, especially since I tend to prefer organic fertilizers, which I think generally just cost more to begin with. But being that these only ask for or call for one to two of these spikes per tree, you're essentially only you're putting a ton of fertilizer on just two sides of the tree, which I don't love. And the box tells you to never insert the spikes closer than 30 inches of the tree trunk. If I'm not inserting these within 30 inches of these trunks, it's not getting anywhere near the root system. These trees are just too small. So what I decided to do in the springtime, and I'm gonna do again, which goes against the instructions from the manufacturer, so do with this what you will, but I think it worked all right for me. I took the two spikes and I smashed them up into chunks. And what I do is just take a drill, an auger, and I'm gonna drill four or five holes around the drip line area of the trees, and I'm gonna sprinkle the chunks of the two spikes throughout those holes. That way, I get more even distribution for the roots in the tree, and I'm not putting so much fertilizer in one spot and potentially damaging the tree, which, like I said, I did in the springtime, and all my trees have been fine. I didn't kill anything, so. I guess it must be all right. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do for all my trees here. When it comes to bigger trees like this one, I just use the spikes as they're recommended. This tree's big enough, it can handle the full spikes, plus this gets three spikes, so you're starting to get more distribution around the tree to begin with, and it's, and it's all right. So I'm gonna start by just drilling my holes around the drip line of the tree, which is basically right where I have the, uh, the edge of my grass here for this. So there I've got five holes. And now you just evenly distribute these throughout the holes. Like I said, that was gonna be pretty quick. I just gotta do this for the rest of my trees, but that's uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If uh, you like this content and you're stupid like me and insist on doing everything yourself for your house, then uh, come on back. I got more stuff coming. I got other home DIY videos coming. So like the thing, click the other thing. You know what you do. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time, guys. God bless.